To write tests, we need a test framework. A test framework gives us a library that includes a bunch of utility functions, and we use these utility functions to write tests. It also gives us a test runner, which is basically a program that we run from the command line. And this test runner executes our tests and gives us a report of how many tests passed or failed. Now, there are several frameworks in this space. The most popular ones are Jasmine, Mocha, and Jest. Jasmine is one of the early players in this space, and chances are you're already familiar with Jasmine. Mocha is the most popular testing library on NPM. However, by design, it doesn't include certain features that are available in other testing libraries. So you need to use it along with some plugins. The most popular plugins that are often used with Mocha are Chai and Sinon. If you use Jasmine, you don't need any of these plugins because Jasmine comes with all the features you need from a testing framework. Jest is a newer framework and that's what Facebook uses for testing React applications. It's basically a wrapper around Jasmine. So if you know Jasmine, you know Jest. All the utility functions we have used before, they work in Jest as well. But it also comes with a built-in code coverage tool that we'll explore later in this section. So out of these three options, my personal preference is Jest because with Jest, we get everything we need from a testing framework. With Mocha, we have to use other libraries and I'm not quite a fan of that because we have to look at different websites for documentation. And also, as these libraries evolve independently, it is possible that a new version of one of these libraries may not be 100% compatible with Mocha. So in this course, I'm gonna use Jest, but feel free to use any testing framework that you prefer. Tools and frameworks don't really matter. They come and go. What I want you to learn in this section is the fundamentals of writing good unit tests. These fundamentals always apply no matter what tool you use. So next we're going to install Jest and write our first unit test.